Giants hosting the D-backs. The D-backs are plus 165 on the money line. The Giants are minus 185. The over-under is eight runs. The D-backs getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 135, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Giants laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. Davies pitched twice against the Giants last year. Both games pretty much an identical stat line. Five innings, one run, one earned in both games. The first game he pitched in, they won 3-2. to two. That was in San Francisco, and he struck out six. The second game, they lost 4-3 to three in 10 innings. That was also in San Francisco, and he struck out three. The D-backs have lost his last two starts as a team. They are 4-3 and three as a team in his seven starts. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched and four strikeouts per game in those games. Webb pitched once against the D-backs this year. Seven innings, one run, one earn. They lost that game 2-1. to one. In Arizona, he struck out three. They are six and four as a team in his last 10 starts. They've won his last three starts. He's averaging six and two thirds innings pitched and six strikeouts per game in those games. He's one of these guys you'd like to keep an eye out on for the strikeout line. Sinker ball pitchers are usually, you know, pretty good for strikeouts. Now, head to head, the home team is six and four. The home team's on a three game winning streak. The D backs are on a three game winning streak. These teams are five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite is 6-4 on the money line, while the underdog is 6-4 on the run line, getting a run and a half. There have been four one-run games in their last 10 meetings. One in the last series that they played against each other, and it was the last game that they played against each other. The over-under is 5-5, and and the over-8 is 5-4-1 in their last 10 meetings. The last game, the last series that they played was a four-game set in Arizona. The Giants took the first one, and then the D-backs took the next three. The Giants won the first one 6-2, then the D-backs won 7-5, 7-2, and 2-1. In their last handful of games overall, the D-backs are 5-5 five five in their last 10. The over-under is 4-4-2. Four, four they've won their last two games that they've played, and they are 3-1 in their last four. 10 runs, 12 runs, 6 runs, and 8 runs. 9 runs and a win, and then 3 consecutive games where they scored 5 runs. They lost... 7-5, they won 5-1, and then they won 5-3 today. Now, for the Giants, they snapped their winning streak today against the Padres, but they're still pretty hot. They are 9-1 in their last 10. The over is 7-3 in their last 10. Obviously, they lost today, so they're 9-1 in their last 10. 11 runs, 7 runs, 6 runs, and 10 runs. And I say this all the time. It is incredibly difficult for teams to sweep a four-game series. Like when these teams played each other, the D-backs took 3 out of 4 in Arizona, and the Padres took 3 out of 4 in San Diego. 11 runs, 7 runs, 6 runs, and 10 runs. 7 runs and a win, 4 runs and a win, 4 runs and a win, shutout and a loss. I think the Giants bounce back in this one. Giants with the money line. I am going to take the D-backs getting the runs. And I am going to go over in this game. Seemingly, when uh, Davies pitched against the Giants, they were one-run games. And the game that Webb pitched this year was a one-run game. So we'll see if all of those one-run games kind of put something out there cosmically. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.